Okay, as your instructor, one of my jobs I feel is important is to warn you about where there's possibly places where you will make a careless mistake in algebra. And one of them has to do with the rules of factoring. And it has to do with getting confused with an expression that is a difference of perfect squares and an expression that is a sum of perfect squares. So if you look in this module, I have the expression x squared plus 100. So it is a binomial, it's two terms and it's connected by addition. So we'd call that a sum. And yes, both x squared and 100 are perfect squares. x squared has an even exponent, it's x times x. 100 is on the perfect square list, it would be 10 times 10. So that expression is called a sum of perfect squares. Everybody, memorize this. You cannot factor the sum of perfect squares. It will not break down into multiplication. There is no way to do it. I don't care how hard you try, you cannot factor that expression. You need to commit to memory. A sum of perfect squares will never factor. That expression is prime. It's in lowest terms. Now, here's the problem. You try to factor it, and then you don't understand why I'm telling you it doesn't factor. So let me show you the two mistakes that happen you'll see the expression x squared plus 100. And you'll automatically say, oh, that's x plus 10 times x plus 10. And you're right. At first glance, that should make sense. But when you write x plus 10 times x plus 10, you're writing two binomials that are not conjugates. So if you multiply them out, you have to follow first, outer, inner, last. You have to do all four steps of FOIL. So if you write x plus 10 times x plus 10, let's check and see. Let's FOIL that out. So the first would be x times x, which is x squared. The outers would be x times positive 10, which is positive 10x. The inners would be positive 10 times x, which is positive 10x. And the last would be positive 10 times positive 10, which is positive 100. So now you would have the four terms, x squared plus 10x plus 10x plus 100. Ladies and gentlemen, plus 10x and plus 10x are not going to cancel and make zero. If I have 10 and you have 10, we add it and we make 20. So that expression, when you fold it out, gives you x squared plus 20x plus 100. So remember, factoring means to rewrite the expression as multiplication. If you check it by multiplying, you should always go back to that original expression. Well, you didn't. So therefore, you cannot tell me x squared plus 100 is x plus 10 times x plus 10. That will never work. You didn't get back to the original because you have that 20x. All right, so here comes the next boo-boo. Somebody's going to tell me, oh, x squared plus 100 must be x plus 10 times x minus 10, the conjugates. It's the same rule. Again, I'm going to prove to you why that's wrong. If we take x plus 10 times x minus 10 and we do FOIL, first would be x times x, which is x squared. Outers would be x times negative 10, which is negative 10x. Inners would be 10, positive 10 times x, which is positive 10x. And last would be positive 10 times negative 10, which is negative 100. Now, when you multiply conjugates, x plus 10 times x minus 10, we know the outers and inners are going to be opposites, additive inverses of each other, and cancel out. And they do. The negative 10x and the positive 10x would make a 0x. It would cancel out. But everybody, look. Are you back to x squared plus 100? No. You have x squared minus 100. And that's not the same original expression. So the moral of the story is pay close attention to your expression. If it is a sum of perfect squares, I don't care how hard you try, that expression is never going to break down in the multiplication. You cannot factor it. We call it prime. Beware of that as we go through our modules. Okay, I'll catch you in the next video.